Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my rapid chess series on chess.com and let's search for we are at 1163 now we get an opponent slightly higher not a big deal <clears throat> gonna go for queen pawns opening and today's episode 13 Wow, never seen this setup. Hmm. Let's just uh, slowly develop and see what's what he's planning. I already don't like his opening, but we'll see where it goes. Meaning, I don't think it's very good his opening, but he could crush me in the middle game. All right, now we have options. I go here, it's pretty safe. Ah, don't know. Should we try a fried li fry liver? <laughs> don't think he's gonna fall for that. And we don't have time. It's like um, three moves away, and I'm not castled, so it might not be the best. We might castle long though. Let's see. He moved his knight twice, which is good for me. I don't. F I feel very rusty in my chess uh, abilities today. I don't feel very confident, but we'll see. Thirteen is a lucky number for me usually. All right, so he's trying to get castle. Let's just go for it. Hmm. So only if it play if he plays. Uh... Whoa. What is that? Wow. Wow, that's a interesting opening. Okay, I got my London like set up I usually put this knight on d2 and push c3 but I thought I'd spice it up a little because his opening is very passive so far but yeah he's attacking in the sides he's not taking the center um he's with black it's a bit difficult to play right let's castle ourselves short so i need to take advantage of um, his play style he's playing very defensive and passive maybe some crazy sacrifices in the memory of uh, Mikhail Tal we'll see hmm. 
Okay, my my dark squared bishop is not great. Is this a good move? Don't think so. Right, we got Okay, candidate moves e4, rook e1, bishop e4, bishop takes knight, h3, With the rook, centralize the rook. Maybe rook c1 at some point. Okay, but now he blocked his bishop. Oh, my pos I like my position, I really like my position. What if I take, but my light square, good. So, is this any good? Not sure. To be honest, I don't know what to do, but because he's, uh, I'm gonna reroute my knight. I want to see what his plan is. He might go c3, c4. All right. We can take, that's not a problem. <laughs> Let's go c3. <laughs> I want to keep my light square bishop on this diagonal for now. If he takes, we might take with the pawn or with the knight, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably knight here, knight. And then we'll see. Knight c6 is a must for him. I think I misplayed this. I gave him too much time, but... I want him to have the initiative. I don't think he's comfortable with that his play style so i'm playing psychologically but we'll see okay it's not a problem wow serious where's the knife going whoa that's mental we could take his knight now, but I don't think I don't think it's good. But we can threaten him like this. Yeah, I want I want to I want to chop off that. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Now it's looking spicy. He 
Yeah, sure. I don't I don't need this bishop. Do I really need this bishop? Hmm, F4 is a move as well, but I'm not sure. Maybe develop the rook first. Right. He wants his knight on E4. There would be quite nice. If we go queen f3. Queen f3. So, no. Right, he wants to free that pawn. Okay, I <clears throat> take this, but I feel like playing b3. Visually, it looks good. Gonna take Yeah, I'm definitely definitely gonna take his knight. Then Well, now I'm now I'm confused. What's he, what's he trying to do? trying knight to g4 I need to think I need to evaluate my position what do I have I need to keep his light square bishop blocked so I need my pawn on d4 no matter what so these pawns are they're controlling dark squares as well. <clears throat> I 
what's that move? He's playing so bad that I cannot punish him. The move, what was that move doing? Rook lift? Right here, 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 and I've got nothing. He has to play rook c1. Sorry, rook c8. Gonna play rook c1, and then what? With, uh, with the knight. Okay, that's fine. So he's trying to free his bishop, but I don't think it's working. And my bishop to a6 would be so nice. Right, he's trying to push the pawn for some reason, but I'm not buying that. Well, we can start with rook c6. And where's the king, uh, queen going? Let's go for it. Why not? So this diagonal is really strong. It's gonna fight back. Oh, we can do this maneuver maybe. slowly infiltrating i'm infiltrating on queen's side so it doesn't look very dangerous but i think i'm advancing too a bit too much and now this is a critical moment it, <clears throat> I have to take, obviously, right? He's going to take back three. He's going to free his through. Bring the queen. And 
now he's actually on my side of the board. But what if I go f3? Yeah, what if I go f3? Oh, it has to, has to be a good move. Cannot come in. Oh, it has to be a good move, this one. He really wanted me to take the knight. That would have been advantageous for him. But now I feel like... Okay, nice. Nice. Right. If I take, I don't think it's a big, big problem. If I take, he can just take back with the rook, which is not good. I'm just weakening d4, but I have to take. So take, take, you can do a check, maybe trade a pair of rooks. But he's kind of escaping. If I don't take, that's pretty bad. Take, take. Is that actually bad? I don't think it's that bad though, you know what I mean? So. Let's ask the queen, where is it going? And my time is running very low. So here, sorry. So here, here. And here. 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 Oh, that's absolutely crazy. Should we go for it? So let's see. Here, here. But yeah, I cannot because not uh, move quick. Now he has to address this. But I give him this move. Then we threaten the queen. So here, here, here. Whoa. I don't think that was uh, the best move for him. Oh, now I can bring my queen. If he takes, ooh. Okay, is there any fork? Not really. He can take me with check, slide. Let me um, 
So if I go here, then here, here, here doesn't work anymore. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. Here, 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 right here, here. That doesn't work. Oh, so that's probably the only option for him. His knight is going to fall. So, well, that doesn't really work. I go here like what's what's he gonna do so here that it doesn't work here. gotta move quickly but I don't think that works but he saved his knight my knight is now pinned but I'm also attacking his knight and his queen. Okay, I can take with the pawn. There's no more checks. I'm threatening his knight and his queen and a discovered check. All right, so it's only the time, only time that we need to worry about. Perfect. That was beautiful. It's fourth mate in seven. I don't think I would have found that, to be honest with you, but I would have got him into real troubles uh, very quickly. Anyways, good game to my opponent. Let's do a game review. Zero misses, zero blunders, and two mistakes. Very happy with that. 79%, yep, that seems about right. It wasn't the best performance. Um, right, he just blundered a little bit in the end. So let's do a quick game analysis. And my opponent is probably from Czech Republic, or now I think it's... Oh, it's, oh, it has a star over there. That's true. Philippines. All right, my bad. Start with Queen Pawn's opening. Um, Already an inaccuracy, but yeah, computer wants me to take the center, obviously, but it's all good. Wow, that's the best move. Yeah, I was debating if I should maneuver like that but if I attacked his queen like I wouldn't have gotten anywhere um it's an inaccuracy as well because he doesn't take center but that's understandable he's trying to castle quickly I think that's very smart right inaccuracy again yeah it's a weird weird setup in the opening Kind of like a modern defense or something like that. And now computer is screaming. 
page four, but I I don't think I would ever do that. Um, not in this like position. Friends, best move. Wow, rook to e1 is best move. Good move. Good move. I knew this was a bad move, right? Because I'm just going back at tempo. But I told you I was playing psychological. Excellent, excellent, good, excellent. Yeah, I, I could have opened my rook. That's why I put it there, obviously, but it turned out to be fine in the end. Routing my knight. That's an inaccuracy. Computer wants rook to c1 because it's an open file, of course. Best move, best move. And best move. So if you look at my pawns, they're controlling dark squares pretty well. So I thought I could I could do without without dark square bishop. And his light square bishop is blocked by his pawn, and his pawns are on light squares. So that was my rationale. Right? I put my rook on the open file. A move later. That's good, but the idea the idea behind it was good. It wasn't the best move. Um, good move, excellent. Right, because it stops the threat of mate, obviously. Inaccuracy. And here I debated for a long time. I know this is an idea, right, to get here. That would have been just great. But I wanted to use my knight to defend myself and attack with the rooks and the queen. And the bishop, which is what I did. Um, excellent, best, good. Yeah, I was debating uh, c7 as well, rook c7. Best move, and now this is my proudest move of the whole match because I could have could have blown all the advantage here, you know. So I've got two points of advantage. Let's see something like this. Like, yeah, if I attack his queen now, it's computer says I have 1.3 advantage, which is bad because it dropped, but visually it looks catastrophic. So, I think this was a critical point in the game because I kind of ruined his plans. Now, yeah, I knew this was not a very good move. I could have taken and I was thinking I was thinking about take take here let's say something like that it's really not good yeah he can go back with the rook of course but anyways so I was debating to take or not, but I went for something a bit more tricky, more human-like move, an idea. Like nobody would ever put bishop on on c8. It looks so goofy, but it kind of worked. Now I could have taken the pawn with the queen, but I liked my queen on that diagonal. So therefore, I checked him. This is a miss. Let's see why is this a miss. Take. Take. And take. That's a 2.4 advantage. That's what the computer prefers. Instead, I went here. Here. I lost all my advantage. He found the best move. I found the best move as well. And now he blunders. That's what I'm saying. It's too much pressure on him. Computer says it's like 0 
but so hard to defend. I found the best move. That's excellent. Forced move. And that's a desperado, but doesn't doesn't really work. However, yeah, I suggested this would be like the best move in my opinion. Um I can just take his knight. Even though it's an inaccuracy. I mean that's a gangster brilliant move. But I probably I would have taken his knight and right here here. Yeah, it's yeah, after this continuation like I mean Into to a discovery attack, and this is actually the best move. Yeah. Anyways, tough position. I would have definitely taken the free knight, even though it's not the best move. He's doing a desperado, took back, and now checkmate is now unavoidable. It's just too much pressure. His queen is under attack, threatening a discovered check, and his knight is also under attack. Basically, he has to give up the... the knight. Oh, this is best move. Okay, at least he saves his queen, but... Yeah, it's just, it's just over. So... Realistically, here, it's like, what, move 30 or something? My opponent equalized and played very well, but under pressure and the human psyche just gave up. Too much pressure, he couldn't handle it. I see myself being in his position, to be honest. I always struggle playing as black and... That's it. Um, he resigns. We got some more points. And I think we the same rating before. So we are... Or is it my Blitz? Oh yeah, that's my Blitz rating at the moment. So my Rapid rating is equal to my Blitz now. However, I played, I think, more, more games in Blitz. Um, 448 and only 214 games in rapid. Um, so let's see, before, before losing two games, my highest was 1171. Therefore, that means this is the, the all time high. And I'm very happy to end this video with this conclusion. And I hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.